What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, but I'm finally back with some new content. Today's video, I'm going to be getting my Windows tenant on my 2020 Nissan Maxima SL. I'm going to be going with 15% tint. So I just wanted to, you know, give you all like a before and after and just do an overall review of how I think the 15% looks on my vehicle and hopefully persuade some people to, you know, go 15% if they've been thinking about it. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so here are the windows at night without the tent. This is my view from the inside without the tent. Here they are during the daytime with no tent. All right, y'all, so this is the inside without the tent. I dropped the car off at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock in the morning. That's what time my appointment was set for. Shout out to my brother for setting my appointment while I was at work. But yeah, so I dropped it off at 8 o'clock. Vehicle was ready at around 11. It's like 11.20. So, you know, three hours and some change for him to do it. So, not that bad. Um, I was his first customer of the day. Um, I went to Maurice's window tinting. So, if you're in Virginia, Google Maurice's window tinting. He's really, really 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 amazing so yeah, i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all a few clips of after the window tin and then like i said i'm gonna compare it and just let you guys know my overall thoughts and opinion on 15 percent tin. So, yeah okay guys so here is the windows after the 15 percent you can kind of see in there you can see like the chrome accents and like stuff on the seat like right there you can't really see too much in there I think it looked good, y'all. My old car had 20%. They kind of, they kind of look alike, but I don't know. I think I like, I like the 15 better. Okay, and it just, it sets it off. It definitely sets the car off. This is gonna be the inside view in the daytime with the tent. You can see out of it pretty good. But you can see the difference. If you look right here and right there. Not too bad. At this angle, you can see in there more. You can definitely see in there more at this angle. But like when you go towards this way, nothing. You can see nothing. Okay guys, so this is the car with tent at night. Can't really see in there. You can see like the radio. That's about it. Back window, you can see through it a little bit. Let's get to another angle. You can actually see through it at that angle. I guess it's because the light is directly on it. And here is the 15% at night. You can barely see out. See how the back one's good. You see how the rear, kind of, but you can't see as much as you would during the daytime. And I shot all of these with the panoramic um, shade back, so I don't know if the lighting, you know, would change anything if I closed it. So overall, I really I like the fifteen percent. It's not too dark and it's not too light 
it's a little darker than 20% was on my old car, but I don't know, I just, I like it. In the daytime, it, you can still see through it, you know, you can see through bits and pieces of it, but at nighttime, when you look at it at pretty much any angle, you really can't see inside. The only thing you can really see is like the lights from the radio and the dash and stuff like that. But other than that, you really, you really can't see inside of it. Um, I was gonna go 5%, but I have people who have 5% on their cars and it's just, it's not for me. I don't want to have to, you know, roll down my windows to look out to get over and switch lanes and all that type of stuff and reverse and yeah, I have a backup camera, but I don't want to, you know, rely on my backup camera all the time. So it's just like 15% was just best for me, especially where I was living. So yeah, overall, I give it a, I give it like a 9.7 out of 10. I mean, it's not perfect. As far as, you know, like the 15% is not perfect, but 5%, like I said, was going to be too dark for me. Um, Like I said, I got it done at Maurice's Window Tinting in Virginia, so make sure y'all Google that. I give his job a 10 out of 10. He did amazing, fantastic, and he did not take that long at all. And I literally called him the day before to set my appointment, and he gave me the earliest one that he had. So that was really, 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 really helpful. Um... So yeah, um, thank you guys for tuning in to this video. Make sure y'all stay tuned because I do got more content coming. I'm gonna try to do a consistent upload schedule. Don't hold me to it right now because I got like a lot of stuff going on. Just move. So I'm gonna be doing like a, you know, house tour, room tour, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna be doing that too. So yeah, just stay tuned and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.